And what goes better with sweets than roses? Next time you buy flowers, it very well could be from Ecuador. It is the world's third largest exporter of flowers that are cut. Three quarters of the roses, or three quarter of the flowers are roses. Dan Collin takes us there. Ever wonder where that last bunch of roses you bought for Mother's Day or as a Valentine's gift came from? The more distinctive the rose, the more likely it came from Ecuador. So what's the secret of its success? In part, its latitude. Uh, directa. We have excellent conditions, like direct natural sunlight all year round. We're on the equator. The altitude. We're about 3,000 meters above sea level, which helps with the cultivation, and we have the same climate all year. With those characteristics, we can get a rose like this with a big head, large leaves, and a very long stem. Bella Rosa grows its roses in these long polytunnels under the fierce equatorial sun. The company has expanded its cultivation eightfold since it began 20 years ago, harvesting tens of thousands of flowers a day. The less than perfect flowers get recycled for compost, part of a drive to reduce pesticide use and boost sustainability. While the rosiest get brought here, where they're sorted, graded, and workers like Jenny Chikaisa churn out 25 bunches an hour. I work here because workers who are studying can also work part-time, and the company helps those who have children with a nursery. There is also insurance and other benefits. Workers earn more than $350 a month, almost $100 ahead of other South American rivals in the flower business. And with more than 100,000 employees, the industry is the biggest employer in the highlands of Ecuador's capital, Quito. Staying abreast of international market trends is no bed of roses. But Ecuador is staying one step ahead by creating innovations. Roses are red and violets are blue, so the saying goes. But a multicolored rose, now that's something new. Here in Ecuador, they've developed a new technique to make these flowers in a multitude of colors, which you've probably never seen before. While the US, Europe and Russia are the biggest markets for Ecuador's flowers, economic troubles in Russia are forcing the $1 billion a year industry to look at alternatives. We are aiming for China. We believe China has the um, interest on buying flowers locally and fl uh, buying flowers from overseas that you know, are different, look different, mean different in terms of, 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 a, of a client. As some markets wilt, others bloom. Even so, the Ecuadorian flower industry is confident the country's business has sturdy roots. And the future looks, well, rosy. Dan Collins, CTTV, Quito.